and hello everyone, here we are for the episode number 152 of Onkai Star Rail. So, that's gonna be a shorter one, and uh, I'm gonna have breakfast at the same time, so... You probably remember from the trash event. Huh. Oh yeah, because I pulled her. It's the third... Uh... Hmm. Now I'm happy, after ingesting thousands of liters of coffee. <laughs> oh, isn't that Miss Sushong? What's she doing? <sighs> eh. Miss Sushong, what a coincidence! <coughs> I oh. guess you have a problem too. <coughs> Oof. Sorry for that. What sort of is that. You're the one with the problem. Sorry, sorry. I mean, are you here to see a doctor too? No, I came here to help my Cloud Knight co workers get medication for their bruises and swelling. Sorry, I went too hard on him. It was a fair match, so no one's to blame. Actually, we should be grateful to you. They were so impressed by your abilities that they said they wanted to train harder. <laughs> we meet again. Who is this beside you? Hello, I'm Luca. Mm -hmm. A friend Oops, of this. I'm from Bellabog, and a yes, contestant Luke. in the current war dance. Bellabog. Apologies, I'm not familiar with the name. <clears throat> Regardless, welcome to the law room, Mr. Luca. Are you here for a consultation? Uh, this might sound weird. Interesting. Hmm. Let's run an imaging test first to confirm that your brain has no organic issues. A fighter's bound to run into such problems. Huh? What's it got to do with anything organic? I thought mechanical parts were fine in the tournament. Not that organic. It means, uh... Oh, how do I explain this? It means that the brain is broken. Huh? The brain is... broken? But don't worry. Now that you're at the Alchemy Commission, I'll do my best to find a solution. Hold still and don't move. Three, two, one. Cheese! No. Oh. I'm not taking a photo. Hmm. Cauldron Master, what do you see? Is there any hope for me? Shadow in his brain. Could it be? <laughs> I'm too young to die, Dark. Uh, that shadow looks a lot like my hand. <sighs> Look, you are still making the V sign. I told you it's not a photo. From the exam results, it looks like there's nothing wrong with your brain, Mr. Luca. Have you been eating anything unusual lately? think I ate some of the local delights when I got here song lotus cake chili oil beef oval stew scale gourd spring water mung bean soda spicy diced chicken garlic infused pork after the tournament officially started my diet has been pretty much the same brown rice corn buckwheat boiled chicken breast boiled beef shank poached fish boiled prawns uh are we eating livestock here Mr. Luca, don't be afraid to tell me. Is he mistreating you? I will make sure you get justice. Of course not. Watch what I eat during what a the match. hell? She's the one who almost so ruined strong. it. Your appetite astounds me. But it seems you didn't eat anything that might affect your brain. Oh, right. 
After the match with Miss Sushan, mm. I drank a bottle of sweet dream soda. But I think I was already hallucinating before that. Sweet dream soda. I think I understand what's going on. It's not unusual to be anxious when you're far away from home. When your nerves were thrown into disarray, the sweet dream soda you drink intensified it. That drink has a fair amount of memoria in it, intended to make dreams more vivid and pleasant. But instead, it caused your anxiety to be amplified, eventually triggering serious hallucinations. Sorry, I didn't understand a word you just said. It's all right. There's no cure for such a symptom. What I mean is that you don't require medication. Just stroll around the La Fu more and take in the barrage of new sights and sounds. Stop drinking sweet dream soda and your symptoms will disappear in a few days. Stroll around the La Fu more. Don't drink sweet dream soda. Okay, I've got it memorized. I'm suddenly reminded of something that might help alleviate your symptoms. Please wait a moment. Something that can help alleviate my symptoms. If he will have a girlfriend. Lady Lingsha said that these medical patches are anyway. very effective. Well, no, it makes sense. But we're fighting again tomorrow. Will it be enough? Nope. You guys didn't know? The war dance has a popularity revival rule. If eliminated contenders or teams garner enough popularity votes in online polls, they can participate in the repechage and re-enter the ring. So, Miss Susang's team is really popular then. <laughs> it's all mainly thanks to my good friend, Little Gwei. All she has to do is tap a finger on the internet, and our popularity votes will blast through the roof like a comet. You know what I mean. Anyway, it's all thanks to Lil Gui's hard work that I, Sushang, am back in the fight. <laughs> Not bad at all. A uh, friend that you can rely on is the most blissful thing in the world. Mr. Luca, come take a look. This is the tusk for treatment that I've prepared for you. Whoa, what is it? Uh, touch it, touch it! <laughs> Warm, sweet, not for consumption. Oh, it's pretty cute. But how can it make it better? <laughs> the not for consumption. The Tuskfer is a creature that subsists on memoria. Hugging it while you fall asleep can raise your sleep quality, treat insomnia and relieve anxiety and depression. And the Tuskfer loves strong memoria. The more depressed you are, the more happy it'll be. Isn't that right, little fella? Hmm. No. No. Sounds great. Uh, how much? <sighs> Don't worry. This Tusker is a personal pet of mine. I can lend it to you for this treatment, but you have to take good care of it for me. Oh, I can't thank you enough. All throughout my journey, I've received so much help from the Alliance. I will definitely repay everyone. Uh, uh, you two! You guys have something important to attend to later, right? It must be awfully tiring holding this cutie pie around, right? <clears throat> what? Can't I touch it just a little? No. You all go take care of your stuff. I'm about to head back to the Sky Splitter to deliver some meds to the team. As a cloud knight, I always help out and do at least one good deed a day. I can take this tusk bird to the lounge for you. I'll just hold it for a bit. I swear her. I won't steal it. That's fine by me, Miss Sushan. She said that in front of the owner. No, 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 no. You idiot. He's, he's definitely like me. What happened at the factory when I was like doing a little something was. I was like unscrewing stuff, okay, unscrewing done, we checked the stuff, now back to the screwing park, then 
um, someone comes next to me and asks, do you have like, um, you know, a screw thingy, but um, not the manual one, like an um, electric screw driver. And I'm like, yeah, sure, here. And I'm like, wait, fuck, I need it. Yep, that was exactly it. Idiot moment like that happens. Oh, she's acting just like Zeela did the first time she saw a real planes bear. Looks like the Tusker not only regenerates rationality, it also destroys it. Hmm. Now that would make for an interesting research topic. If there's nothing else I can do for the both of you, I'll be on my way. Thank you for the tusk bird. I will treasure it and shower it with love. Hmm. Oh, we were delayed at the Alchemy Commission. Hope we didn't keep Lynx and the Master Diviner waiting too long. Look, Lynx is over there. Quick, let's go see her. Luca, you're here. I had a strange encounter. I was at the plaza watching people play cards, and I met a kind-hearted girl. She said Kinga. she could help us repair the Jade Abacus we bought. But she was just called away by a few diviners and still hasn't returned. Yeah, is this girl a bit much? Could you? Many unfamiliar people over there. The girl should be just over there, playing some game with other diviners. I didn't notice the time. <laughs> Isn't this the nameless? You're super popular in our circle. Mm. Every Pathfinder fan knows you. <sighs> it's the Pathfinder fan circle. We heard that you relied solely on the Pathfinder to overcome the Heliobus possessing the Master Diviner. <laughs> That's definitely the highlight of the Pathfinder since its conception 300 years ago! Hmm. But our President Ching said it was all down to your hard work! Okay, he and I have some things to take care of. Play with you next time! No! You guys can't leave! Gosh, she's scared me. What do you want? It's not every day we need a Pathfinder legend. We can't let you leave that easily. Yeah, but we need her for something more important, bitch. Or I won't let you take President Ching away. How many Chingchus do you have? <sighs> Just play around with her. I doubt she'll... <laughs> My god, she's fucking annoying. You ready to have a match with me? Yeah. <clears throat> Lightning quick. <sighs> okay. There you go. for nothing nameless pathfinder once she's satisfied now hold on recently our pathfinder circle has also been organizing a major event taking advantage of the momentum from the war dance not hmm. just for those in the lafu 
Many of our like-minded brethren on other Sienjo ships have also come. Hmm. <sighs> May have seen our ad we put out in the papers. You should join if you're interested. Yeah, later. Fantastic! <laughs> Who would have The circle, I forgot that the circle also involves the puzzle thingies. Is this the friend that you mentioned, Luca? Pleased to finally meet you. I keep seeing you and the Miss Lynx has told me everything. She also said she found some rare antique that she hopes I can fix. Yes. At glance, I knew it was a jade abacus. <clears throat> and an old model from centuries ago, too. <sighs> Nothing gets past you. You know that the Master Diviner has returned to the Yuche on business? Before she departed, she left me with a mountain of data, spreadsheets, and even more data and spreadsheets. My eyes were seeing stars. Now that such an opportunity has fallen into my lap to restore an important historical document, strictly speaking, taking this job doesn't count as slacking off. And I might and I've actually mm -hmm. already restored part of the information. But Link said that you have to be the first one to look at it, because the owner of this Jade Abacus is your idol. She's right. Thank you, Link's. Let's play the recording then. A recording. Trust me. With your skills, you'll surely make a name for yourself if you join the Interstellar Circuit. Prize money, fame, things others can't achieve in a lifetime, all within your reach. Hmm. It does look like Luca. Of course, I'd be thrilled to win, but what I truly hope for is that people will listen to my post match speech. I know what you're thinking. I've heard about your APC home. worker. Honestly, many worlds have been attacked by Nanook's mad legion. So I must remind you, the audience paid good money to watch a thrilling show. They're not interested in your words of woe and weal. Igor, you sure are a miracle. For a competitor hailing from a That's really planet to get after final at pier point. It's something winning. only a handful have achieved. So cheer up a little. I'm just a plaything for their entertainment. Look at what I've had to do. Severing my perfectly good arm and replacing it with an IPC prosthetic. Oh. To make the matches more dangerous and thrilling. <sighs> Mom saw me in this state. She would be heartbroken. If your mother saw the prize money you won, she'd understand. Can my prize money buy me an army? If you want to buy a mercenary army outfitted with standard gear, you'd have to defend your champion's title at least 20 times and accept countless endorsements. Can you last that long? Can your home? <sighs> That's why he was fighting. <sighs> to defend it against the nook. This story got much heavier than anticipated. Yeah. He was not doing this only for fun. Planet before the antimatter legion invaded. When he participated in all the fighting tournaments across the cosmos, he would address the audience with a speech after he won, hoping that would raise awareness about the antimatter legion and save his planet. Yep. He really was an extraordinary person. Alas, the cosmos is infinitely vast, easily drowning out one planet's meek cry for help. Sorry, I shouldn't have spoken so flippantly about a fascinating tale earlier. It's all right. This is a chapter in history that's already happened. Regardless, to be able to hear Igor's actual voice after seven centuries makes me more than happy. This section of information doesn't mention the Sienjo Alliance at all. I wonder how he fought his way to the La Fu. It is possible, anyway, honestly. This is all the content that's been restored so far. I should be able to salvage some data, but I'll need a couple of days. Perhaps the subsequent data will be able to tell us why he arrived on the CN Joe. We'll contact you if there are any new findings. I'll stay at the Divination Commission for now. There are some other matters I have to handle besides restoring the Jade Abacus. I'll try my best to restore the data in the Jade Abacus, but it'll take some time. You go back first. I'm gonna take a stroll along the streets. 
But why does he have his arm? I, I don't remember about that. That doctor advised me to walk around the town, see more of the sights. If I can walk along the streets alone a few more times, I might be able to conquer my fear of the big city. This place scared the heck out of me when I first got here. <laughs> yeah, you're not hiding something. Future, I'll have to be like Igor, competing all over the cosmos for Bellabok. Can't keep getting spooked and hallucinating all the time. <laughs> mm hmm. <sighs> I'm lost again. The streets in this big city all look the same. I just want to enjoy a cup of tea. Why is it so difficult? Isn't this a great <coughs> opportunity to practice Oops. asking for directions? Let's Jesus. ask this guy. This guy. <laughs> Lol. Excuse me, little bro. Uh, I'm not sure how old you are. Can I call you little bro? <laughs> that sounds weird. Why are you talking to me? If you're not one of long life species, <clears throat> I guess we're around the same age. Is there something you need? I'd like to ask, uh, how can I get to the sleepless Earl? Go straight until Starwatcher Avenue. Keep to the right, and you'll see a storyteller performing on your way. That's where the Sleepless Earl is. Thanks, little bro. Really sorry for the trouble. It's my first time visiting another civilization. It's normal to feel a little uncomfortable when you're so far from home. If you need any help, just ask. So, where are you from? I'm from Bellabog. Oh, we've only recently re-established connections with the cosmos, so you might not have heard of it. Pelabog? I've heard of it from others. No wonder your metal arm looks so awesome. Master, you must be here to compete in the war dance, right? Hmm. <laughs> Master? Ah, you flatter me. Uh, my name is Luca. It's funny I'm that that was the, the introduction dance. they got to each other. To make a name for myself by successfully challenging the ringmaster of the Xianzhou Luofu. So then everyone will know the name Celebok. <laughs> if he's gonna be quiet, it's gonna be you funny. Wanna challenge the ringmaster of the La Fu? You wanna challenge Yen Ching? <laughs> it seems like our stars are aligned. You're also here to compete in the war dance? Are you also here to challenge the one named Yen Ching? <laughs> I guess, as a warrior, I always have to keep <clears throat> challenging myself. Yeah, I agree. Warriors have to keep challenging themselves and strong enemies. If you stop moving forward and get scared by the enemy in front of you, all past battles become meaningless. To be able to represent the Xianzhou Lo Fu, oh, this Yen Qing must truly be a legendary fighter. <laughs> I'm not feeling so sure of myself now that I think about it. I feel the same as you whenever I stand in the ring. Although I am confident in the skills that I've honed over the years through my hard work, honestly speaking, there's always that nagging uncertainty about how good my opponents might be. It's like fear sneaks in and messes with my confidence. <laughs> uh, I've got a little trick that can help you conquer your pre-match anxiety. Find an empty place? Scream the name of your opponent until you truly believe that you can beat the enemy you fear. <laughs> what an interesting trick. Okay, I'll give it a go. He's gonna scream his name. I will be victorious. The last one standing in that ring. Or his own name. Me. Not give the choice to the player, please. I, Luca, will definitely win. I will defeat Yen Ching. <laughs> Come on, let me hear you shout. Let's pump ourselves up. Uh, me too. <laughs> Come, shout with me. He's screaming in the street <laughs> in another planet. I will defeat Yan Ching. He might actually be right by doing this. Ching won't defeat me! 
He's worse than amaze himself. <laughs> Might be a metaphor for that. Hey, you're right. All that shouting made me feel much more confident. And people just keep walking as if nothing was. Wasn't lying. Although we haven't seen much of the world, we do have a lot of experience fighting. <sighs> Thank you, Luca. It's late. I have to go prepare for my match. Oh, my friend, you haven't told me your name. Huh. <laughs> you can call me Lung Fung. <laughs> In the Sien Joe language, it means an icy blade. May fate bring us together again, Luca. <laughs> it's funny for the player to have this situation. Lung Fung. Now that's a really cool name. I was about to say cool he person. knows that he is Yangxing, but. <laughs> No, he definitely doesn't. Is Luca back yet? Okay, we'll and uh, since those missions sometimes chain cutscene after cutscene after cutscene, I don't want to get late for work, so I'm gonna finish this here. Guys, thank you one more time for being there with me for another episode of No Guys Star Royal. We see each other for the next one. Till then, make sure you leave a comment, a like on the video if you like it, or at least like it if you didn't. But don't forget about this. Stay the way you are, you're amazing. And see you guys.